Assalamu alaikum guys, hopefully everybody's okay. This past Friday, something really crazy happened, subhanAllah. A famous Sudanese reciter, Sheikh Noreen Muhammad Siddiqui, was killed in a traffic accident in the city of Halfa in the northern state of Sudan. He was 38 years old and subhanAllah, you know, things happened unexpectedly. Nobody seen this coming and subhanAllah was very, uh, you know, shocking because a few years ago, Sheikh Noreen, he really came onto the scene because of his unique recitation. A lot of people, including myself, we weren't familiar with his Quran recitation. It was very beautiful. So when he would recite the Quran, he had khushu, he had focus, he would tear, he would cry, he would have emotion. He began memorizing the Quran back in 1996. He finished all his Islamic studies by 2008 and from there, the shirt worked as an imam and subhanAllah, I just pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that accepts. And the beautiful thing about all of this is inshallah, God willing, the edger he's gonna get in his grave. You know, the Sadqa Jari, the Prophet Sallallahu said in the hadith, the famous hadith of every single deed of the child of Adam will be cut except for three. And there's another hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, the best of the Muslims are those who understand the Quran and teach it. SubhanAllah, now he's gone guys. But the most beautiful thing is all his good a'mal are still there to be seen. You know, the Quran recitations, the good, uh, the khushu and all of that. And how many people we know who are gone, who, who wanted to change, but unfortunately they couldn't and Allah took their life. And you see online, the thing they have is filth. And okay, obviously Allah forgive us, but you know, now that's their legacy. If now you search up their name and you'll see things that obviously you and me, we probably know, but you don't want to talk too much elaboration, but it's negative th things they left behind. That's just a fact. You know, I can play games here and there, but what's wrong, what's wrong, what's right, what's right. And what's the criterion we use is the Quran. Obviously there's a lot of lessons, but the one I want to highlight, the one I want to really, really elaborate on it, and you know, inshallah end up right now is we never know when's our last time. Let's leave something good behind. We never know, man. You want to do something good. You want to do khair. Do some good man, And leave it as a sadqa jariya. Do something ongoing stuff, man. You know, you never know down the line how much it benefits people. You know, some people, they will, they build water taps in like, you know, areas like Pakistan, Somalia, whatever the case may be. And it benefits people all the years that come from the village and whatever the case may be. So think about that, you know, even when you're driving and you see something on the ground or something, these are, these are little things we can all do, including myself and all of us, you know. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the Shaykh Jannatul Firdaus, may Allah allow us to get motivated and to also do good a'mal behind, where people actually are affected in a positive way. Rather, we don't be people that destroy, 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 and you know, be tyrants and curse and all that, whatever the case may be, all the negativity. And then when we're dead, that's the remnants, and that's the thing we have left behind. Go towards something which is gonna lead to Jannah. And obviously, categorize it, surround yourself by what Allah and His Messenger have made lawful and unlawful. You sometimes want to feel sad, and rightfully so, but then when you look at all the work he did in such a young time, he went out there seeking knowledge. He sacrificed his life for the deen, he, he's seen it. When a person wants to seek knowledge, he wants to learn his deen, he wants to do a, a lot of these things. The debt attachment to the dunya has been gone, bro. You, you, you want to focus towards the akhirah. I just pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts it. And, uh, and allows us to learn and actually build towards positive things that so then when we die alhamdulillah we have something we can plead our case to allah and we have got to do multiple things put your box put your hand on a lot of boxes as they say so inshallah ta'ala may allah accept them all if not may allah accept any of them i mean so you know yeah man that's my whole bottom line with this i'm sorry if i went passionate